Hey, Thomas, how you doing? Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, I brought this to you uh, a few weeks ago, about a week ago. Um, thought it would be kind of a cool idea. Uh, what did you think about <laughs> watching this? <laughs> Uh, I uh, will definitely get into it here in a minute. I have a lot of thoughts <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, through the lens of, of the uh, the gentleman who brought it to us, uh, which we'll, we'll get into. And if you're curious about what we're talking about, before we get into the main event, uh, I just wanted to uh, uh, plug our, our show like uh, we usually do uh, in the, the first, the last of the nerd room. I'm uh, I'm uh, ML Mike uh, and joined by Thomas uh, and we are mm -hmm. about ready to jump into uh, we periodically covered into we 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 have main our main genres like probably horror sci-fi comic books books uh, mm -hmm. anything that is big enough to attract a, a, a ring of nerds or if you follow our show uh, follow our channel. Uh, nerdy dose, uh, which uh, Thomas uh, coined <laughs> to the uh, to our fans out there, and we want to uh, give a good shout out to the 47 folks that have decided to stick around and see what we're all about uh, week after week uh, as we uh, uh, plunge through the uh, the, <laughs> the grab bags of the internet uh, and, and nerd culture uh, and all all the above. Um, and with that being said, uh, uh, we can we can hop back into the uh, the to the main event, which was uh, yes. You did, in fact, uh, <laughs> drop this on my doorstep, uh, and I've watched <laughs> it a couple times now. Uh, and uh, um, it's um, it uh, it brings me back a little bit for the little, there's a little bit of nostalgia, but that wears thin very quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's sort of like um, I I I love this, but I also hate it, but I also love it. It's yeah. this whole thing about uh, the internet and. Um, so, so the idea is that this guy, um, has a friend that has passed away and he has left this, um, this doom level that is his house. And that's the rabbit hole that we're going to go deep into on this. And it, is this real? Is this not? Uh, that's, that's the big thing. Uh, and I, I don't know if um, the fact that it's real or not really matters. It's just that it's a really cool idea, <laughs> and uh, I, I, I love I love the the rabbit hole that it leads you down. And uh, we're we're going off of uh, this um, this post that this guy did, uh, which I think he does a really good job of kind of going down the rabbit hole uh, with you with his various uh, ventures into uh, this game. <laughs> and it really shows you what really can be done with a game. Um, and it can kind of tell you a narrative uh, that that um, you can't tell in any other way. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to set the stage here for, for the uninitiated, I mean, I'm I would imagine a good size of our audience knows what Doom is, um, and mm -hmm. Doom being D-O-O-M, Doom, the game, the video game. Um, I know I played it. I played this one. I played offshoots of it in the 90s, um, including Keen's World, I think is what that was, uh, that was another one. Um, uh, there, there's uh, there's a, a, also derivatives therein and kind of crossover, but Doom mm -hmm. is one that has been, uh, it is a, a cultural touchstone in the nerddom, uh, bar none. Uh, for sure. So, any in any case, after obviously after the game came out, um, they a lot of folks grew up with it and played it and they loved it and they have continued to. And that's just mm -hmm. one of the big points. On this is not a spoiler, but um, if you watch the entire documentary, My House, all the way through on this excellent, excellent YouTube channel. Before we get into it, I want to shout out this guy's channel before mm -hmm. we get too deep in this. Um, Power Pack. Um, this guy put in uh, he put in the mileage uh, yeah, to make this definitely. whole thing, uh, and he uh, uh, he brought us this wonderful story. Whatever it is, if it's real or not, um, whatever mm -hmm. uh, your takeaway is, he painstakingly played this through, and he had a lot of help with this forum where this actually was released. This level, this is a level, a Doom level uh, that was created by this author, um, and 
you know, there you would think you kind of be cynical because we've seen this before, like uh, hype or marketing or something like that. Um, and this really doesn't go anywhere, as far as I can see. Um, you know, like there's nothing coming out uh, that's like mm-hmm. Doom related. There's not like um, some cheesy, stupid, you know, kind mm-hmm. of thing. This is obviously a labor of love for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and whether you know it actually has a re- some reality behind it or not, who knows? Um, it, it it does as we get into it here in a little bit. You'll you'll kind of see the, the pieces connect the dots. Um, but yeah, you, one, yeah. One I, Oh, go ahead. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it, and I was amazed by it. And then uh, I, I brought it to you, and I was like, "Okay, um, maybe we could do something with this," because I was really blown away by it. And like you said, it's not like um, you know the the guy's going to make a million dollars off this idea. It's just this really cool idea that just um, just really takes you and takes you on a journey that that you wouldn't have ordinarily. It's, it's just, right. uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and of course I kind of found the pieces here a little bit. So this, this, the, uh, veg <laughs> don't know how you say this person's name, this right. guy's name. <laughs> um, but veg, uh, is definitely a real member. Um, and I think the one I wanted to see was the, uh, okay. Yeah, so all this is real. So, like, everything that I saw, like, oh, you go to check on this. Like, I, I, I spot-checked a couple things here there. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and no, it holds up. It's, like, it's a, it's tied to a real account. You know, mm-hmm. and, and, and just to be clear, Power Pack has nothing to do with this game. He just found it like everybody else. And then, mm-hmm. but he's, like, the first one, or at least, I'm sure maybe other people did YouTube videos on this yeah. to cover this. But he, he did the full feature length. I mean, he really mm-hmm. did the full feature length. Um, 142 minute or 100 or an hour and 42 minutes. Um, yeah, total yeah, it's, run time. <laughs> it's like a, a feature film. It's like right. uh, yeah, it's a deep deep dive into it. Right, right. Uh, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's um, yeah, definitely a shout out to him. If um, yeah, if you if this sounds kind of interesting, definitely watch his channel and yep. watch this video on it. Um, but yeah, basically a two for one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, he. Uh, so, so his, uh, it's a, a friend uh, that has passed away that has put out uh, in his family gave this guy this um, this video or uh, this play level of a, a house, and basically the guy that has passed away made a a, a mod uh, for Doom about his house, and this is. Uh, the starting point of this, and so, uh, is this real? Is this not? Um, it, <laughs> at the end of it, it doesn't really matter. It just tells a really, really cool idea, <laughs> story. Yeah, it, um, it, it, it's interactive, like uh, video mm-hmm. games. Not only is this, but this the storyline, and 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 I think the the thing that is. Um, equal parts, whatever reason this was made for whatever reason we. Mm-hmm. Uh, might we'll know one day i i think that that i think mm-hmm. that's very very much of a, a true statement especially considering the internet and today and people just can't leave things enough as they are <laughs> uh, but regardless um this really is its own artwork um because mm-hmm. it, it invites you in and it invites you to um bring your own sensibilities and interpretations and all that therein which we'll get into here in a little bit but um mm-hmm. i uh, i uh, yeah you 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 kind of get sucked in and you kind of you you can kind of the way that the way that this video is cut. You can kind of see it coming ahead, and apparently my camera is going to do this. So, <laughs> <laughs> and in any case, uh, it's thanks AI. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. AI is going to own the world. Yeah, right. My my <laughs> ass. It's going to own the world. Yeah. Uh, and in uh, any case, and, <laughs> go ahead. And you're you're hosting it, and uh, yeah, if you wanted to play a little bit of the beginning to kind of get everybody in the mood for it yeah a little i bit. don't think this is gonna actually you know what let me stop it here let me let me go let me kill this and then uh and then go back so i can actually share the uh the audio so like well i don't know yeah. if this is gonna work or not we we've had some issues with this yeah. not working in the past but yeah we'll, we'll give the it a audio shot. doesn't always really matter on this but we can obviously kind of talk over it um Yeah, it's it's your classic Doom. I mean, 
Uh, you're you're <laughs> you're working with the framework of a Doom video game, and you're telling a, a in-depth story about the psyche of this person uh, <laughs> with within the context of Doom, which uh, sounds a little crazy, but it really works. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just let this play in the background, mm -hmm. um, and, and we, we've given proper attribution. Again, this video belongs solely to Power Pack. Mm -hmm. um, we're using a very liberal copyright here, um, just to make mm -hmm. sure that he gets credit. He's the source of this video, um, just to kind of get that out of the way uh, while we mm -hmm. let it go. But um, yeah, <laughs> uh, and I'm going to pause it there here because it's a little bit, a little bit radio -y, echoey on the thing. And then, yeah, there goes mm -hmm. the AI. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be able to take over the world if you can't even get a camera angle right. Good, good grief. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk and it'll go. It'll do whatever it's going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so this one was based on a book uh, as well. Um, good Jesus Christ! I think I <laughs> pardon my pardon my camera here, uh, my semi dumb camera. But I was trying to find the um, I was yeah, trying to the... find the book that it was based on because I, I kind of understood the book a little bit, but like I, what I didn't understand is like if it's actually a real book that got published like by a major author or if it was by one of these that was that was the part I was kind of confused over even after watching yeah it um, um I wasn't yeah. quite clear on that yeah the the book is uh, House of Leaves uh, which um, I actually <laughs> have a have a copy of the book and uh, I've uh, tried <laughs> tried reading it. A couple of times, um, and uh, it made me want to dig it out and want to actually read it. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. There, there's echoes of that that book in this this video game, uh, which is really cool. Um, I, you know, the the fact that it uh, references the book uh, is is really cool. Um, but yeah, it's it's um yeah that's yeah, that's I, what I that, that's mm -hmm. what my impression was there was like a, a, a famous book not mm -hmm. unconnected to the actual um thing mm -hmm. but th there's there's passages uh and this is the other thing too I wasn't clear clear on so as you as you play the game it has so a, a it is if you're in IT or you're a nerd or you've ever used the terminal um, and you want a command to kind of go back and go through a list over and over again until it finds whatever you're looking for. That's called recursion <laughs> or recursive. Mm -hmm. Like uh, this is or usually like a dash R sometimes, whatever. But anyway, all, all that aside, this is very this is very much like uh, um, like very much recursive, uh, like where it re refers to itself to itself, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of. Over and over and over and over again, uh, and I was trying to find the, uh, the, the yeah. There's this yeah, the sense the of actual repetition scum. to it. Yeah, I, I the actual post of this author uh, or of mm -hmm. this particular member, um, and, and uh, basically there is um, oh that's the very last one. Sorry, I am oh <laughs> right there. Yeah, so these are all his posts um, that he puts in, and. Um, as you progress through the game, oh, I, oh, you know what? Uh, shame on me. Uh, so this game was released as a Google Drive folder, uh, mm -hmm. shared out, and it has uh, three parts. It has a zip folder, uh, it has images, and then it has the actual game. Um, and there's some bits and pieces there about the file types. Basically, one file type that you actually play is uh, more uh, is more advanced. Then, like, say the original .wad file, whatever, um, for Doom. Uh, and mm -hmm. in, anyway, there, there's a PS3 or PSK, or whatever the hell it is. Um, but you want to play that version of the game. So mm -hmm. you play that game. And the way that the author, or, or excuse me, not the author, but the power pack, what he did was, he was like, okay. And, and this is kind of how he lays out his video. He, he was like, you know what? Okay, this is something cool, unique. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm not going to go back to the forum. I'm just going to play through and see what I see as my normal Doom. And he's a pretty experienced Doom player as well, um, yeah. I would say. I would add. He, he he definitely knows his way in and out um, way better than me, than I would. He, he has a <laughs> lot more patience for these things. Absolutely. Like, um, so I, I also think that indicates that he's younger than you or I. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, I think that's he knows, easy to say. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows what can and can't be done in a Doom game. 
Uh, so when it starts to uh, go outside the boundaries of what a Doom game can do, yep, uh, he picks up on it right away. Yeah, that's that's exciting to him, and uh, it's exciting to us because we're experiencing it with him as he's he is experiencing it. Yeah, and th- this is um, now this is, like I'm a little bit more um, worn worn in the seat, so to speak, uh, for <laughs> time. Um, otherwise, I would I definitely probably well this weekend um, uh, I will I, I'll have some free time. And I probably will. Uh, and, and the beautiful thing about this game is you don't have to go buy it. Um, you don't have to screw mm-hmm. around with like some emulator, some weirdo emulator from some questionable website. You can just straight up get this, the open source version mm-hmm. of, of Doom, and then you can download this file and you can play this game straight away. So there is no barrier of entry. If you have a computer uh, that's uh, it made in the last, uh, it made in the 21st century, you're going to be fine to be able to play this game. Mm-hmm. Um, for sure, like just for hardware spec. I mean, you might not, but you, you'd have to really. I I would imagine at this day, in this stage of of um, of 2023, you would really, <laughs> you would you would have to go Linus Tech Tips to go find a uh, a friggin' a game or a PC that couldn't play this game. Let's put it that way, um, mm-hmm. or the open source version of. It. So free to all is what I'm saying, which is mm-hmm. really cool because. That's unusual because I, I think what this indicates is that we're going to see a lot more of these kind of things in the future. Um, if they're done right, um, I mm-hmm. don't quite know where this falls because this is such a new genre, I guess. I don't know what mm-hmm. to call this kind of experience, but yeah. um, it, 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 it is, it's kind of like an escape room mixed with video games, mixed with Blair Witch, mixed mm-hmm. with um, a little sprinkled heavily with with mystery <laughs> and, and, yeah, and, and just it, healthy curiosity it also, it, 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 sorry go ahead yeah it also gets into luminal spaces like yep. you know it, it, it gets into the back rooms um yeah when it gets into the back rooms i was like oh my gosh yeah this is really cool <laughs> it's um yeah it's like, like you said it's um a, a lot of different things that that's really exciting and uh on the cutting edge and uh, the way that he's telling a story is, is very different. And um, yeah, it's, it's not something that you're used to and mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's very exciting. Um, yeah. I was, I was, I was very taken with this and uh, I was very excited and I was like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I didn't know uh, if this is something that we could cover or not, um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, and what I was gonna say mm-hmm. there before was, um, uh, it's it's kind of like where it's made and designed to where, no matter where your hook comes in, whether you are the video game player and you want to experience this, or whether you are just a mm-hmm. YouTube fan like us, uh, taking it very casual like that, or whether you are you come in fr- from that book, maybe you. Maybe that book's your jam. Maybe that's something that you re- remember or something. Mm-hmm. The, the thing is, is that no matter where you land on, doesn't kind of really matter. It's just like the game. The game has different levels and alternative mm-hmm. universes, kind of like mirror universe. You know, listen, I'm not spoiling anything. Um, but kind of like, doesn't matter where you begin or end with this. Whether you start playing the game and your your introduction was mm-hmm. that, or it was this YouTube video. No matter where you dig in at. There is so many layers of mystery that invite you mm-hmm. to kind of like, well, come and see. And then you kind of <laughs> get sucked in is kind of the point. Um, and then you all of a sudden it's three o'clock in the morning and you're <laughs> researching on how to fire up the game uh, more than likely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah and if, if you wanted to play the game, it, it, it plays like a, a real or regular Doom game. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you're, you're fighting the, the, the various uh you know enemies in the game <laughs> oh yeah yeah and i think um this begs for me and thomas to explore um because we should be able to to stream uh maybe maybe mm-hmm. maybe that's in the offing uh relatively soon stay tuned mm-hmm. uh yeah. <laughs> as, as this invites you in um it says mm-hmm. welcome welcome uh come in and sit down um as you kind of go through this like you you learn that there is there's a lot of speculation here, and it's the story 
it, and the clues are loose enough for you to kind mm-hmm. of it's it, it invites you to um it invites you to, to if this were a, a forum and it literally is um if this were a, mm-hmm. a forum in in the real world it would invite you to comment on it um to come mm-hmm. in and say what you think about it it, it really is um it, as much as the material as you're exposed to it still also invites you in with your own personal experiences and your own kind of like reading into this or that um and it's it just it's just interesting and and this in this author uh, the, excuse me not, I want to say the author of the game the a power pack here does have their own commentary and I think it's very base very level um, yeah uh, and what I mean base I mean like very very foundational it's very flat he doesn't wildly speculate he just kind of goes by mm-hmm. he does a little bit of reading into it but um he he leaves it there at the at the water's edge and he lets you kind of go into some of the more me- meatier parts that invite kind of speculation yeah. around wild speculation <laughs> for the refers what I, back to yeah. the author. What I love about him is that he um, he plays the the first two or three playthroughs, he plays it just as a game and he finds out what he can from just playing it and then like mm-hmm. the the next two or three playthroughs he goes through with a uh, a hint guide <laughs> from yep. from the, the 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 community, and he he dives in deeper and deeper as he goes, and um that's that's the exciting thing about it is like uh the more it's like a, a, a onion the more you pull away the uh, the 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 narrative of uh, it gets deeper and deeper and. Uh, by the end of it, by the end of the story, uh, from what he can gather from it, he gives a complete narrative to it um, right. that that kind of begins from the end to the end, you know, from the beginning to the end, uh, and it, it gives a, like a, a really cool sort of story uh, that you didn't expect uh, that you would be experiencing. And that's that's the exciting thing about this, is that uh, it is a game, but it also tells a story uh, that's very exciting and very interesting. Uh, that that kind of tells uh, more about the the author and the person that maybe is playing it <laughs> uh, than than what you were expecting. <laughs> Yeah, and and uh, just to kind of like just read this last little bit that's kind of set the stage, and we'll get into it here a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. Making maps of your house was all the rage of your being your own house when you could use a Doom map creator or whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. All the rage back in the day, but I will I I feel like this is a pretty adorable and detailed tribute to my friend and a great way to share something of him with the community we loved. Miss you, Tom. And that is exactly where you start off at the starting line, and then you figure out who Steve is and who uh, who this guy Tom is, and and kind of like a mm-hmm. little bit. There's like if you just go to this, um, you know, well, might as well. If you just go to this, you know, uh, Google Drive. I don't even know if we can get into it because um, sometimes it gets a little, it goes to the you know, to this photo, and this is iconic uh, for this this particular Mm -hmm. uh game or this this thing um but yeah Mm -hmm. you can also download the file and it'll probably just download the file whatever but yeah we can probably go i don't know if we can go up a level or not but oh folder yep Mm -hmm. this is here this is where the uh this is this is it this is the uh this is the uh yeah thanks yeah i know that Mm -hmm. thanks thanks google uh like nobody doesn't like nobody on the planet freaking doesn't know how to work google drive anyway um (laughs) Just very interesting, um, you know. Kind of take, and we might jump in and out here as as the discussion uh, meanders ar- around everything. Um, but in any case, like this is it. This is the the, the files, the the sketchbook, the mm-hmm. the photos, the screenshots, all this. All this is self referential back to the game, uh, and and from the mm-hmm. game back to itself. Um, and there's some clues here, um, but that's this is why we mm-hmm. were. I think this is why a good starting point for more casual folks is this video right here. And I mm-hmm. think that um, Power Pack probably gets probably 80 to 90% of this, the story correct. Mm-hmm. Um, I And I just say that because um, 
um, and I leave out like that 20, maybe at worst 20 percent, maybe at best 10 percent uh, to like where one day we're going to kind of find the backstory a little bit more probably mm-hmm. at some point maybe. Um, and, and just case in point, may, we might not either uh, because Bitcoin was made a long time ago. And um, the famous thing about Bitcoin is who – yeah, okay, Bitcoin is its own thing, but who created it? And there's not been – it's kind of like more anonymous type thing mm-hmm. as it were. I mean there's a name attached to it, but like nobody's come forward. Nobody has con- concretely come through the door and said, I have the evidence to say this is me or not or whatever. So unlike say the Sopranos, like where you talk to the uh, you know the director years later and they tell you like what their artistic vision was, like this is like – this might be solved. This might not, but this is a damn good starting point. <laughs> I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, and that that's that's the cool thing about a video game is that everybody's experience is unique unto itself. Um, so anybody's playthrough to a game is going to be unique uh, in and of itself because you're going to go through it in the way that you play it. And so, yeah, it definitely tells a story. Uh, but but the story that it tells is unique to the person that, that plays it. Yeah, and I'm just kind of letting it play here a little bit, mm-hmm. kind of give you a little bit. And th- there's a little bit of, 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 of cross-pollination I, or, or whatever you want to mm-hmm. call it. There's probably a better word for it. But, like, where well, there's a little song here played here. Um, and th- there is kind of – I did kind of want to zoom through because he, he – he, uh, if you go through the journal, which I might as well, I might as well click on, um, um, mm-hmm. there are, th- there's a certain number, uh, like kind of hints that are dropped. So the, yeah. you have these, these, you have these, these entries, like these journal diary entries, you know, whatever. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, the funny, you know what? I might as well, I might as well ask, Hey, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> may I have edit rights? <laughs> might as well. Uh, uh, in any case, um, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. And I did that because, like, I'm curious to know, like, where the account came from as a security guy. But in, in any case, um, that wasn't really part of our, our plan. But anyway, this is like, this kind of takes you back. And also, coincidentally, um, very much by design, <clears throat> if you cross-reference these dates and times, you will also find – um, the same the same post um, to in, in, on the forum. So like I'm just trying to find one here, um, like to coincide here, like September second, 2022. Uh, there, there, I'm sure there's an entry here for it. Um, yep. So th- literally word for word, there's no deviation. There is no like cryptography going on here. But there are three numbers that are kind of um, highlighted red. Um, oh yeah, as, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as it were, and um, and th- this is not a big, but if you go in sequential order, they are two, three, and one, which, okay, um, we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll get into. Did you, have you given any thought to this at all? Like, because um, no, I did I, take. No, I haven't. I, um, so, uh, um, if, if you recall, like we, we and we covered this a long time ago. Uh, I I don't know. I can't prove this anything more than that. But if you. The way that well, first let me go back to the power pack and what he sussed out, which was this is a kind of a spoiler, but not really. This is a this isn't going to spoil the end or anything like that. If you would do this kind of take this out of context, but he does go back through and he notices this, and he uh, he 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 just internet searched Doom two three one or whatever, mm-hmm. and it was like some track from some playlist from some fan from some time ago or whatever. Um, or, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to bring this up here. Um, does that ring any bells for any kind of rooms, uh, that, that have that number sequence? Not quite at two, not, not quite at, uh, um, two, three, one. Um, but you know, and, and you, you have any, any, uh, oh, uh, oh, I think Tom, oh, yeah. oh, what happened to you? <laughs> Sorry Uh-oh. about that. You, yeah. Are you back? Yeah. So my yeah, question I, to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. It sounds like yeah. I, I went into the luminal spaces and it's kind of did a little hacker thing, but yeah, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm back. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah. So, 
<clears throat> uh, what I wanted to kind of show was yeah, the the two three one yeah the yeah there there was a, a site right I thought there was too but um mm-hmm. the, well the the what he what the power what I was saying was the power pack was he um he tied it back what 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 well, first off what website are you talking about like let, let's start there so uh, as we do this investigate invest investigatory <laughs> uh, podcast here. Um, like, uh, specifically like in, in doom or, um, or otherwise, um, sorry, uh, bear with me here. I've got to pull this up here. Uh, one second. Yeah. There was like a, a remix, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 The, uh, the remix to the, um, to the, uh, um, to the thing. Credits. Uh, oh, that's just this thing. <laughs> but anyway, he it, he tracks it down to. Yeah, this, to... this ties into Shrek. Even. <laughs> oh God, yeah, that's another <laughs> thing. And 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 the the um and Power Pack's conclusion was like, well, Doom mods have been around forever, and like people like mm-hmm. to put little Easter eggs in there. So, does it really have any bearing on the main storyline mm-hmm. as he lays it out? Not really. Um, it just kind of right. ties back in again, again, everything that is in everything that I can see, uh, including those numbers are, it doesn't matter. You can pick a little corner, a mm-hmm. little piece. You will ultimately come back to, again, this kind of doesn't matter if you start with playing the game or if you watch this video or if you come in another way, it references it back to itself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ultimately, <laughs> yeah, there's oh. there's like this culture with uh, Doom, and it plays around with the culture, and uh, uh, the, the the culture is terminally online. So you're gonna get these references that are <laughs> like Shrek and these 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 stupid references, uh, but they tie into this whole. Um, this whole thing where it, it just just makes sense that you would, uh, uh, you know, you you wouldn't normally be talking about Shrek and uh, that stuff with with anything else, but since that this is in uh, this online kind of game. Uh, it, it just just makes sense that you're going to be referencing online things, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. And and whether you, you Google search this that particular people or that account, uh, you will inevitably come back to this to to center. Like this is kind mm-hmm. of like um, its own its own universe um, in, in a way. Um, that that it just mm-hmm. invites you again. Uh, you you it, you can't help if you're like, whoa, <laughs> wait a second. Like you might watch this. Like I watched this first time through, and I was like, oh. I just casual didn't really think about it too much. You know, like oh yeah, or whatever. And then you know you kind of let it sit on your mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're like, wait a second. And then and then you inevitably will will go to find some kind of search criteria or some some kind of thing for you to track down on. Um, that that again leads you back to the to the game, but yeah, and um, it it allows you to go as deep as you want to. Um, that's that's the cool thing about this is that yeah, you can you go in deeper and deeper. Um, there's um, uh, this this concept of going down the rabbit hole on online things uh, that you can go in as deep as you want to. Uh, in um, or or as little as you want to, uh, if you just want to dip your toe into uh, online mysteries, uh, you know you could just just you know do a little taste of it. Uh, but the the cool thing about online mysteries is that a lot of times you can go deep deep into it. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure there's there's going to be a countless Reddit subreddits based on this um that kind of go in and out uh little uh internet detectives uh excuse me uh excuse me anyway uh yeah. <laughs> had some nachos earlier uh, <laughs> but yeah the, this all comes back to thomas allard uh and and steven nelson 
uh, mm. and that book as well. Again, doesn't really matter where you start with this, whether it's the book, the journal, the photos. Uh, we can certainly take a trip through those. Um, but you, you, you'll see if you don't take this out of context, um, you'll see like the um, you'll see this, and it's kind of funny they use Google. Um, you know, uh, um, but it, it, like these pictures that I'm kind of rolling through, they, they're peppered throughout the uh, the thing. But like, definitely, this was based on somebody's, based on or taken from or inspired by somebody's real life for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, uh, it's kind of like one of those things. Is it, it, there, you know, you have the, the there's the beloved pets, uh, beloved mm-hmm. memories, mm-hmm. some not so beloved um, that you they don't really kind of mention all that much. Um, you know, you just kind of go through, um, very unusual. Um, there's no, you know, you don't really get a kind of closure for, you don't really get closure for anything, to be honest. Um, that's it's kind of like what, true. what you bring in. Um, it's just, um, you could either chalk it up to a, a, a hell of a start <laughs> for a horror series, uh, which is not, mm-hmm. which, which this, I don't know what this would be. I, I don't know what the equivalent right. In today's media, I don't know if this would be three episodes of a TV show, if this would be, you know, three trilogies. I have no idea. It's so wide and broad, but it's also small and short, depending upon where you come in at. Um, that's kind of the just the, I think that's by design. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing about the, being in a video game is that you could spend a night just playing it and not really get that deep into it and maybe just surface level. Uh, play it uh, for a few minutes and be done with it. Uh, but as uh, Power Pack did, he, he did a very deep, deep, deep dive into this and uh, maybe got everything almost that you could get out of the game. And um, uh, again, I would definitely recommend watching his video about it. Uh, because he he really does go deep into it, but um, you could go as little as you want to into this and get something out of it. <laughs> no, absolutely. You you there's just no no shortage. You. That's so funny. Oh, you know what? And and then that's that's a cool thing about uh, video games is that um, you know you could get as little as you can out of it. Um, or, or as deep as you want to, um, you know, there's not, uh, the same experience that you'll have, uh, across the board. Absolutely. Yeah. Th- there's just no, no, no end in sight mm-hmm. to what you can, what you can or can't <laughs> look up. Um, you know, it's just kind of like funny, um, uh, you know, like where, Things are kind of done in a certain kind of style, I guess. Um, like there's like um, a certain kind of style of the the way the photos are presented, uh, of the way the the article mm-hmm. or the the uh, obituaries are, are presented, um, even the book. Um, and obviously, that I don't know. Like these just don't you just don't know. Like with, with <laughs> and again, yeah, the, 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 there's a sense of uh, unreal nature about it because it doesn't seem quite real. Uh, but it doesn't seem totally unreal either. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, um, you know, and, and this is kind of um, funny too because it, it, it kind of puts you in the middle of, every, of everything. Um, you, mm-hmm. You're put in the middle of this story and you don't really have a beginning or end, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and just like uh, metaphorically, this is me reading into it, um, these guys were born and raised, and then they came back to Illinois and the Midwest. Um, the key mm-hmm. is it's the center of eh, center of everything, very milk toast area of the country, I guess, um, as it were. Just no different than St. Louis or Arkansas, for that matter. Um, but mm-hmm. you, you definitely are 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 invited in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to to uh, not just come and sit down, but like come and sit down for a while. Um, and also go to the bathroom and do this and do that, mm-hmm. and, you know, like the, you know, fill the, fill the, um, the bathtubs yeah. up. There's just so many layers to this, like to, for the gameplay that I, I would, I don't know that I would necessarily have the, the, the patience, um, to, uh, to go through everything. Cause I'm not a Dune nerd at all. <laughs> like I 
I love Duke Nukem, uh, and I love Dune. Uh, uh, excuse me, Doom. Um, and I played that in the, in, you know, growing up as a kiddo. Um, and I kind of mentioned a, a few of those. Uh, but and I played the newer one. I think it was came out like four or five years ago. Um, it's pretty good quality video game. I never finished it though. Whatever. I, I I'm not really a hardcore. By that time, I'm not really a gamer per se. But uh, what I, what are your thoughts on the, all this? I mean, what, what I mean, do you, do you do you want to know more of the story? Are you satisfied just from what you had? Like, how far down the rabbit hole did you did it take you? Out of curiosity, I, I really enjoyed watching the the video because it uh, there's a little little sense of uh, what you know, which uh, the the cool thing is that he he had, he made a game that's based on his house. Uh, so you're going through this guy's house, so there's that that uh, sense of um, you know, kind of <clears throat> you're you're kind of like uh, you know the outsider kind of looking into his house, uh, but you're you also have the fam- familiarity of uh, the doom bad guys that are showing up uh, that you're shooting <laughs> while you're going through this guy's house. Right, and right. Uh, but and then there's this larger context of uh, this mystery of what he's trying to tell you about his house and about his life um, that is very interesting, and you want to know more about uh, this guy's life, uh, and he's trying to tell you through uh, this recreation of his house, and uh, yeah, you. you there's a sense of how far is he going to go in the telling of what he's trying to say about his life and how much he's going to give you uh, about his life. And uh, the more he gives you, uh, the more you know about him. And uh, it just kind of creates this uh, very engaging and interactive uh, nature about it. Um, that that is very unique to a, a video game, and how um, you can t- kind of tell a story uh, through a video game. And yeah. I think this just kind of touches the surface of what can be done uh, with a video game. And I, I'm really excited to see uh, how far we can take things uh, through this medium. Yeah, yeah, and I'm not gonna show like I'm not gonna Google somebody's name and then a town or whatever because that's mm-hmm. not that's too close to uh, you know mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't want some poor bastard to <laughs> be like <laughs> what the hell yeah mm-hmm. Let somebody else do that um, but I mean you're more than welcome to I mean again mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter if you let this set in your brain for a little bit or you mm-hmm. actually go Google these things and times and dates and places and are probably even hopped in a car. Uh, I'm sure that there's those nerds too. Like that, the, mm-hmm. the, the those videos are forthcoming. I'm sure if that if not, they're already out there. Because uh, this is very mm-hmm. new. This came out this year uh, in March. Yeah. Again, this is very tightly, uh, closely tied to this account, um, to this uh, veg who painstakingly <laughs> had an original account laying around from from uh, if I go back here to uh, to their origin. You know, they 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 came on the scene uh, in. Uh, and oh, I guess it's at the very bottom. They literally, <laughs> literally came in, uh, and they had this account since like forever, uh, from from the very beginning of like mm-hmm. 20, 20, uh, 2004, I think is what, or two thousand four or yeah. six or whatever it was. But in any case, yeah, um, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, you know I'm doing the wrong one here. Past hour, good grief. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, no, they they have uh, they have all the way back to. Good grief. Um, yeah, it's just interesting. It just adds more layers. It just again, it uh, mm-hmm. everything goes back to itself. Like it's kind of like uh, the Spider-Man meme, where they're, all the Spider-Mans are pointing at each other. Um, that's mm-hmm. kind of the, the the kind of the point. Uh, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get any kind of resolution, uh, as it were. <laughs> um, but who knows? Who knows? Like yeah, no, I agree with you. I I totally invite, um, and I think that's where the future is. Um, and I don't think that we're going to see like a, like a, a, a Steven Spielberg or whatever, like wh- whatever the next big thing to come out that like is actually for real. 
um, you know, we're, we're going to, they're going to be a friggin' master genius, you know, level. Mm-hmm. And this is kind of like one that it can't, you, you can't easily dismiss this one. Um, there's, there's no mm-hmm. cynical corporate tie in, you know, there's no like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. deep level things. Of course, we've <laughs> just started covering the, the get in like maybe, you know, like uh, two inches deep and in, in five miles wide. Let's just say, let's yeah. say, it, call it that way. Um, but I'm sure, uh, you know, that's what I was looking for. Uh, June 16th, uh, 2004 is when the, yeah. this account There's was. A, so, there, is, there is a Pepsi can in, in the video game, but yeah, that's, it, that's as corporate as it gets. <laughs> uh, but yeah. yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's a pure, it's very pure in how it tells its story. Um, there's, uh, it, it, it's trying to tell you a story uh, that it's very deeply, passionately uh, wants to tell you, uh, but it, it does it in a way that's unique between uh, the person that's trying to tell the story and the person that plays the game. Uh, it's, it's a unique experience uh, every time that you do it, uh, which is um unique for video games um you know every time that you play a video game it's going to be unique in and of itself and um so yeah it's it's a, a, a unique medium as far as telling stories and i i think we're right at the cusp of what is possible with this this genre Yeah, I don't. I can't hear you. I don't know if it's changed oh, or yeah, not. I didn't. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, no, <laughs> I was just. I was just saying, like, um, um, as as this thing unrolls. Um, you, you know, this is only going to get bigger and wider and more popular mm-hmm. as time goes on, um, is what I was saying. Yeah. That's all. Um, I kept myself yeah. on mute there. <laughs> but, yeah, the, the, I, this is cra- I don't, I'm not sure there's much more to say other than, you know, um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, that's nothing to me. I'm just kind of like, uh, just looking here at, uh, silly, silly things here to give the audience, mm-hmm. uh, like, uh, cause you're. Trust me, you're gonna mm-hmm. want to be clicking on this thing and kind of googling this and googling that. And again, mm-hmm. we're not gonna we're not gonna show that on air because um, mm-hmm. you know if there is you know somebody who actually is alive, uh, and this is just a big ha ha or whatever, they don't need any more attention than that. And if they want to make themselves known, then they'll they'll do that. But um, plus, I don't want to. If it were me and I had come across this, I wouldn't want somebody googling my name uh, on live on YouTube, whatever, as this goes out. But mm-hmm. uh, so we're, we're, we're going to be, we're going to play it safe that way. But mm, I don't know. Um, do you, do you think that this, the, these two people actually existed? Do, what are your, I mean, what are your core thoughts on that? Uh, I know you kind of gave me the, the, the <laughs> overview of like, um, I, and I, I'm very much with you. I don't know how to feel about this. To be honest, um, I, there, I don't really think you can give it a rating um, because I think it defies that um, very easily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's definitely one of those things like where you just got to kind of take the time and either download the game, read the book, and then come back or, you know, kind of experience it however you want to. Um, yeah, I, yeah. It's, it's not going to be the first uh, time you, you do it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think everybody's experience is going to be unique in, in and of itself. and. Uh, that's the cool thing about video games is that uh, everybody's experience is going to be unique uh, in and of itself. Um, you know, everybody is going to play a, a video game uh, differently, and uh, yeah, the the fact that these individuals may be real, maybe not, uh, maybe a little bit, maybe not. Uh, is 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 uh, kind of a fun thing to kind of speculate on. Um, I, I I don't think uh, the fact that 
um, we know the answers is is part of part of the fun of the, of it is that we don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and no matter what, like no matter how you start analyzing this, it's pretty pretty epic that um, that that this was made. Uh, you can't fake these things, right? Mm-hmm. So you can't like and again, Doomworld uh, dot com has been around forever, right? Mm-hmm. So like because the community is active in, in the um, um, power pack. Yeah, the the that. fact that the fact that it. it kind of operates within this world um that that makes it kind of exciting that uh it's it's not unique in and of itself it's uh um it's interacting with this this world that's already exists <laughs> exactly yeah there there is just no no other way around it um it just again it goes back to itself uh and invites <laughs> you in and says what do you think um, mm-hmm. And I, we're, we're not really um, spoiling any anything big, um, because again, within five seconds, you, you know, you're right on the website, uh, you're right on the Google folder, you're right downloading it, you're looking at it, you're 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 mm-hmm. already engaged, um, and and it kind of just goes on. And again, all these links will be available in the show notes. Um, I'm not quite sure there's much more to say, but I, I will say that um, I think this is brand new. Um, as far as a genre, I don't know what the hell you would call this, but we're covering it yeah. here, um, doing our best, um, and it's definitely uh, it's a push to uh, to go go check it out and make your own thoughts mm-hmm. about it for sure. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. Give it, uh, give Power Pack a, a watch. Um, yeah, I, I kind of once I watched this video, I watched a few of his other videos. He's definitely worth checking out. He uh, does does definitely give kind of like a, a narrative and does a, a really good job of researching what he talks about. And, uh, yeah, he is, he's uh, definitely a, a friend of our channel, <laughs> If it, uh, it, even if he doesn't know it. <laughs> but, yep. yeah, it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, one of those things that uh, we definitely want to uh, spotlight. And uh, this is what our, our channel wants to be. Uh, we want to spotlight uh, things that are uh, interesting within the nerddom. <laughs> right. Yeah, and, and just to kind of go back to my rule of thumb, which is if you find a YouTuber and you've already watched their content and it was enough for it to provoke your curiosity to see who this channel is or who this person is or this, this company, whatever it is, whatever it be, um, you, you will find – quickly that um anything from zero to one million or, or zero to 800k or zero to 750k um are like that's like the sweet band of like when a, a good content creator is coming up um and they're they're just hitting their stride and they're they, they get even better as time goes on so like i can't tell you how many youtube channels i've i've jumped into like where there's only 50k or there was only a hundred k, and then ten years later they hit a million or whatever. Some mm-hmm. are a little bit turtles, and they grow at their own speed, but they definitely grow, uh, for sure. Uh, and as we do our own thing here, that's uh, that's just important to highlight because the future belongs to YouTube. It belongs to like folks like us, folks like those folks out there who might already have their own channels and like want to brush up on their this skill or that skill and and kind of put. Uh, something very interesting on the internet uh, for you to follow. And even better, if you are a master level genius like this Steve Nelson guy or Steven Nelson guy, um, and you went to the, uh, I mean, you, you, I mean, good God, like just a level of detail you can't fake. Like you just can't, uh, you can't fake that. I mean, you can, I'm trying to put my security hat on and like, how would you fake something with <laughs> Doom World? And I'm sure Doom World isn't all that secure or whatever, um, but all the same, um, that's a lot of work, especially if you don't have like whatever. But if you have the thing that um, YouTube creators like Power Pack have is time, um, and if you stick mm-hmm. by them uh, when they when you get in early on the on the floor, you get to you get the full benefit of that uh, of that um, entertainment. And I I have not watched anything else of Power Packs, but uh, or excuse me, Power Pack, um, but I would I definitely mm-hmm. am uh, going to subscribe my own personal channel 
and see where it goes. Um, but I, mm-hmm. I don't know that I could do any more justice other than to say, um, boy, like, well, we're going to keep an eye on this one and see what happens. Mm-hmm. And if we have any My House updates, we will we will definitely bring it to the uh, to the nerddom. Um, but th- there are th- this has nerd fingerprints uh, written, <laughs> or you know all all over it for sure for sure. Yep. Uh, <laughs> just it's everything, uh, uh, no yep. matter what. Uh, but yep, in any case, and, uh, yeah. If you want to spotlight our, our first last nerdum is our channel. Uh, <laughs> we're we're growing uh, a little bit uh, every day, and uh, um, uh, I'm very excited to see where uh, our channel will lead us. Uh, uh, it's it's not not a known territory um, yep. where where we'll we'll go, but uh, but yeah, it's it's exciting to see where. Uh, each day uh, brings us. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, and uh, and we probably need to update our our our, uh, our, uh, our mission statement to include YouTube uh, because we've been mm-hmm. recommending YouTube channels and videos for mm-hmm. a very long time since the start um, in our grab bag segment. I, well, actually, our grab bag. Well, we've evolved as time has gone on, uh, but mm-hmm. a, a, as it were. Um, but I just wanted to uh, to highlight that, and uh, thanks again, Thomas, for joining me on this main event. Uh, and uh, tell yep. us what you guys think. Um, please um, uh, mm-hmm. like, subscribe, comment. If you dislike us, that's fine. Um, if you have ideas, show ideas, or if you want to come on and be a special guest, we we love to entertain that. Um, just tell us what your bailiwick is about. Um, uh, really, the only, only criteria is is that uh, you got to be a nerd. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, with that, I think the um, the stat was that um, 67%. The last time I looked was um, uh, was uh, was not subscribed. So if you have made it that far or this far, as Thomas likes mm-hmm. to say, I'm going to steal from him. Uh, we would invite you to come on in and make yourself at home and uh, see what you see and uh, give us uh, give us your feedback. Again, uh, we 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 love to hear from from the fans out there, from the nerds. Um, cause we all are, uh, at heart. Uh, and with that, mm-hmm. um, I've been Mike. I'm Thomas. Peace. See ya. <laughs>